As you can tell by the title of today's video, I am going to be unboxing the Off White Day Off Arrow Monogram Tote Bag. If you'd like to see what it looks like in all of its details, just keep watching. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber Marion. If you're not new here, welcome back. Can you believe it? We are on day six of Vlogmas, day six of the 21 days of luxury unboxings, and we are moving smoothly along. So if you aren't already subscribed to my channel with those post notifications turned on, definitely take a look down below and make sure you're hitting that red subscribe button, as well as turning those post notifications on so you do not miss a day of an unboxing here on my channel. We're doing an unboxing every single day in the month of December. As far as the 21 days of unboxings go on my channel, I'm not really going in any order necessarily, favorite bag, least favorite bag. I'm not going in any order. I'm kind of just going through my extreme shopping problem, shopping bags, <laughs> and just going from there. So today, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we are going to be unboxing the Off White Day Off Arrow Monogram Tote Bag. That is a tongue twister to say. I did pick up this bag from Neiman Marcus. If you caught my Balenciaga unboxing, which the comments seem to be a little crazy, I also picked up that bag at Neiman Marcus as well. As always, you guys know I am going to insert close-ups of the bag and its details in just a few seconds, but I did want to just bring it out like this. I've had my eye on it for quite some time at Neiman Marcus. Well, quite some time to me is like two or three trips to Neiman Marcus. So I've had my eye on it, but I've kind of been staying away from tote bags ever since Brixley. I've just been into bum bags and crossbody bags. I say that all the time. But something about the colors, the design, the whole thing, I just, I needed this bag. So here we have her. I'm going to go ahead and insert the close-ups of the bag right here just because the bag is super big so it's going to be very hard for me to talk to you guys about the details of the bag while holding it so let's get into the close-ups. This detachable wristlet, which is absolutely adorable in design and style. Your care cards are in there. I think this is so cute. I love that the inside is that black and the really nice blue logo. It's not really, there you go. On this angle you can see, it's just really beautiful on the inside of the bag as well. And you don't usually see bags that are beautiful on the inside. You do have a snap closure on top, which I absolutely love on totes. Not enough designers do that. Virgil paid super attention to detail. I love this on the straps. And I love how the monogram is the arrows. So now that you guys have seen the 
close-ups and all of the beautiful details of the bag. I, one thing I have to say about anything that Virgil did design is that he paid super attention to detail. And I love that about Off-White. I love that about the items he's designed for Louis Vuitton. So that's one of the main reasons why I love off-white. I don't love all of their handbags. Sometimes I'm just not a fan of the style. But the one thing I will say about even the styles I'm not a fan of is they they have amazing detailing. So I always feel like with off-white bags, so much attention to detail was made when designing them. As you guys saw in the close-ups, it's, it's crazy how much the little detailing is. It just makes the bag. Retail for, are we going to poke it? 11.40 at Neiman Marcus, which for an all leather tote, I feel like is pretty comparable to the competitors. One of the things that I love most about this bag, I did not mention this in the close-ups, is how big the straps are. You would think doing this as long as I've been doing it, I would remember what everything is called but the length of the straps is really what I love because whether it's my Goyar, my Neverfull from Louis, none of the strap area is really this big. So I love it because you can wear this with a coat. I feel like those type of bags. I live in the Northeast, so it gets cold. And I feel like with the Neverfull, with the St. Louis, you really can't get them over a warm jacket. So I loved that these straps were big enough to get over a long jacket. And I did mention this in the close-ups of the bag, but I absolutely love the snap closure of the tote. Nowadays, you don't really get that many totes designed with the snap closure. And although it is not as secure as having a zipper closure on a tote, the convenience of a tote bag for me is not having a zipper and being able to throw things in. But I love having a clasp to kind of close it and keep it closed underneath my arm. I absolutely love the shape of the wristlet. I just think it's so different. It reminds me of like a piece of Swiss cheese. I don't know if anybody else gets the vibe from that. Of there is the little care card, authenticity card. And this is crazy. I learn something new every day. I had no idea that Off-White was designed in Milan, Italy. I did not know that. And I just saw another detail that I completely missed out on when buying the bag and when shooting the close-ups of the bag. But the wristlet... This is going to be hard to show you guys because for the wristlet is actually a blue paper clip. So do you guys get, like, do you guys see what I'm saying about Off-White and Virgil's designs? He literally does not miss. Like, he makes sure that every single little, anything, anything he thought of, he put on the, like, who thinks to put a paper clip on the wristlet zipper? I really like that the little wristlet I just showed you attaches to a D-ring in the middle of the bag. If you know on the Goyard St. Louis, it attaches on the strap and on the Neverfull, it is attached off center on the inside. So I really love that. That makes it super different as well. I absolutely love the little arrow logo detailing here. And then I love the zip tie with the branding on it. This is actually all leather as well and is detachable. Same as the inside wristlet, it is detachable as well. If you didn't know, most of, if not all, of the major designer tote bags that come with wristlets, they do come with wristlets or attached pochettes every brand calls them something different but the reason for that is because those bags do not come with a zipper pocket on the inside of the bag so like i mentioned in the close-ups i keep saying like i mentioned in the close-ups 
Guys, we're on day five or six. I'm, it's, yeah, I'm getting a little loopy around here. I absolutely am obsessed with the black inside with that beautiful blue. I almost wish the bag was reversible because although that would be like super understated, I just think that would be beautiful, the black with the blue. As I mentioned, I did purchase this bag from Neiman Marcus, more specifically the Neiman Marcus in Garden State Plaza Mall. I purchased a lot of my bags there. There is a wonderful sales associate there that I love shopping with by the name of Victor. I absolutely love shopping with Victor and handbags and accessories. So I do, like I said, I do buy a lot of my designer bags from Neiman Marcus. I tend to buy a lot of my designer bags from Neiman Marcus because they are just located in some of my favorite malls. But they also do have a super big selection of designer handbags. I'm not sure if everybody knows that. I'm not sure if everybody shops at Neiman Marcus. But I happen to love shopping at Neiman Marcus. And I feel like they're the only department store that I've ever seen off-white handbags in store in. Trying to think. Every off-white handbag I've bought, I've bought from Neiman Marcus or NeimanMarcus.com. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below if you know another department store that carries off-white handbags because I would love to check it out if they're near me. I really hope you guys are enjoying the 21 days of luxury unboxings here on my channel in place of Vlogmas or my version of Vlogmas. I really hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying filming these unboxings and these vlogs for you daily. If you did enjoy today's video, please make sure you're leaving a thumbs up down below. And as I mentioned before, I am doing the 21 days of luxury unboxings in place of Vlogmas here. So besides just hitting that thumbs up button, you might as well make sure you're subscribed to my channel and turning those post notifications on so you will get a little notification every day with what bag item I'm unboxing that day and you can stop on by and check it out. I'm not gonna lie, if you've made it this far in the video, thanks girl, thanks friend, but yeah. Shooting all these unboxings is getting a little repetitive. I feel like I'm repeating the same things over and over and over again. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Make sure you're following me on Instagram as well. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another unboxing.